Hello everyone, today we are starting the course about Java reference type. So in the last course we have seen Java primitive types. So we have seen that there is eight primitive types that are stored in memory with a number of bits. So in Java there is three types, primitive types, uh, boolean, numerical and uh, char for example. Then we have null type, it's a special case of uh, Java type, we will see that afterwards. And we have reference type. Reference type refers to an object, an instance of a class for example. Uh, it can refer to an interface, a num or array. So what's the main difference between primitive types and reference types? So we'll see that in memory storage of Java. For example, here we have uh, an int variable, int value, which holds the value 58. So in Java memory, we'll store the value of this primitive. So we we'll store 58. In case of reference type, for example, here we have an instance of the class person we'll just store the reference of person1 and not the value of the instance person1 so in java stack memory we are holding the value of primitive type but we are only holding the reference to the real object of reference type so we'll see that in code it will be more clear so here I have Eclipse new Java project reference types. So check if you have your GDK 1.8 here. It's where you can configure it here. Next finish. So we we'll create my main class have to generate this method and create a package reference main reference finish so here I will create a class to have a reference instance variable new class for example person finish we we'll just put it in another package to be more clean thanks eclipse so here i have my class that I can use it in main reference for example person person one Calamu person so here Java is generating a default constructor in this class I don't see it but Java always generate a default constructor for you to use your class that I can create it too it won't change anything so to create a constructor public person always the name of constructor ma must match with the name of the class here I have public class person here my constructor is person so when I will call my constructor I will display some stuff call in person constructor so now if I run my problem my program call in person constructor I see that it's using the person constructor to create an instance of reference variable 
and here I will create a primitive variable to show you the difference so int age equal for example so here we have a reference variable and here a primitive primitive variable so the main difference that here in java memory we hold the value in the stack memory but here we are just holding a reference to the object person one and we have null type so we can for an i can do that initialize my uh, person variable then give it the value of new instance of person i can do that with instance variable equal null but with the and primitive variable I can't do that for example white equal null equal null I can't do that and that's a main difference between primitive variable and reference variable I cannot convert from null to int I can't do that with primitive variable any primitive for example short short val equal a null can do that double double val yeah. so I am not able to do that with primitive variable there is another difference between instance variable and uh, primitive variable that we can't use method on primitive variable because there is no method on that for example we will create a method in the class person I can just put it here on my right so here for example public string say hello So I can delete that because Java is generating a default constructor for us. Thanks, Java. Uh, public void will see method in another course. So here I can use this method. Say hello. Run so here I have hello but on primitive variable I can't use any method for example dot I can't use length for example I can't use any method on primitive variable so main difference between reference variable and primitive variable cannot set null to a primitive primitive variable second point cannot use method on primitive variable and here I can do whatever I want with my instance variable equal null for example I will run my problem it no problem so reference variable represents class and um, and interface like we have seen that in our ppt and primitive 
types represent eight primitive types and nuke types are a very special case so thank you we'll see further course afterwards